we yeah. find ourselves in a bit of a predicament tonight. Yep. Yep. But we know it's important, yeah. right? Yeah. We're going to keep our eyes on the prize. Got it? Yeah. Eyes on the prize. We know it's important tonight. We need to end tonight unified. We can't let this divide us. So you guys know the plan, right? Yeah. Finger poke a doom. Finger poke a doom. Finger poke a doom. Finger poke a doom, right? Yeah. yeah yes? Yeah. So like... Yeah. Finger, finger poke. Poke. And then you go down. <laughs> uh, no, that's not right? how... That's the plan. No, no. I, I, I you poke you plan. and you go down. No, 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 no. I get the win. We agreed on this. I thought we talked about it. What do you got? I didn't talk about it. No, man. I, I poke you and you go down. I pin. One, two, three. I win. Why are we going to argue about this? I don't. This isn't even an argument. It's up to you guys. Question. I said finger poke a doom. Okay. You guys decide. It's up to you, okay? I'm finger poke. Dude, you're gonna get the finger poke, and then you'll go down, and then I pin you, and that's how we, that's how we talk about it. Just like Nash, just like Nash. You're Nash. I'm Hogan. No, nope. I'm Hogan. You're Nash. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's not happening. No. No. What? Look, look, look. See this? See this dishcloth sign right there? I poke you right there, and then you go down. Okay. So now we're grabbing right. objects. Hanger. Okay. I poke the hanger. Okay. And you go down. Guys, I don't need any more illustrations. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Figure it out, okay? I'll be in my office. Let me know if you need anything. A lot of things. Lock the door. Okay. What the? Hello Smash Wrestling fans and welcome CZW fans, I'm Scott Hunter sitting alongside Brad Myers for Smash Wrestling vs CZW and we are kicking things off in a big way here early on as Smash Wrestling's Tarek takes on CZW's Drew Gulak in an interesting twist Brad, both of these men are members of Fourth Gun and now CCW fans, we understand that you guys are new to Smash Wrestling. Brad, tell them what Fourth Gun is all about. Tarek used to be known by the name Alex Vega. And I, about a year and a half ago, he was fired from Smash Wrestling after he smashed a laptop and slapped managing director James Key in the face. He later returned to cost world champion Matt Cross. The undefeated streak of Matt Cross, the, the Smash Wrestling Championship, and since then has formed a group with Johnny Gargano, Alex Shelley, Busick, and they have done nothing but take over Smash Wrestling, and this is our chance under unique circumstances to make them fight. Well, that's right, Brad. Fourth Gun has essentially, for the last year and a half, held the Smash Wrestling Championship hostage. They've kept emerging, new members kept emerging throughout the year. We saw Chuck Taylor added to the group as well. But tonight, under the unique rules of Smash Wrestling versus CZW, we kind of got the one up on Fourth Gun and a fourth force members to wrestle against each other. And Brad, on a night where our champion, Fourth Gun member Johnny Gargano, defends his championship, he's defended it successfully throughout 2015. But with the help of these two gentlemen in the ring, tonight they take on each other. But here's the question, Brad. We saw the footage earlier tonight. Johnny Gargano demanded finger poke to but these guys could not decide who's going who's gonna to get the pin. Well, you got to wonder, Scott. I mean, can they put egos aside in order to, to keep Fourth Gun alive? I mean, I mean, Gulak is, is, is an incredible wrestler, but, but so is Tarek. And we've really seen Tarek come into his own since joining or forming Fourth Gun, rather. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, whether the, the, the home company alliances prove strong or whether their fourth gun brotherhood is goes deeper than, than home promotion. Well, and, and that's it, Brad. It's, it's a matter of does the name on the front of the jersey mean more than the name on the back? The name on the front of their jersey, of course, is fourth gun. Again, Johnny Gargano demanded finger poke of doom from his fourth gun teammates. But Brad, Smash Wrestling fans are no strangers to either of these two men. This is CZW fans' first look at Tarek. Well, let me break down Tarek for you. This man trained in the Storm Wrestling Academy, stands 5'10", weighs 189, 
He's been wrestling for eight years. This man used to be known as Alex Vega, has had a complete attitude shift since being fired by James Key, the managing director of Smash Wrestling, and, and since coming back has been a new attitude. He doesn't take anything from anyone, and he's in it for himself, which kind of leads me to believe that the name on the back of the jersey We just saw the finger poke. more than the front. You like just finger poke, they, or sorry, Tarek refused to go down for it. And Brad, it's not just a shift in attitude for Tarek, it's a shift in and everything. His, his physique has improved tremendously. He's in the greatest shape of his life right now. This man does a different diet every hang on, month. Hang on a sec, Scott. They both finger poked each other. And it's, I guess we have our answer as to uh, can they set the Eagles aside? Clearly, Tarek cannot. And Brad, this is the thing though as well, as, as the fans chant, this is wrestling, they came to see wrestling, they don't want to see a finger poker do. They want to see these two guys go out. You're absolutely right, and I mean, as, as far as fourth gun goes, I mean, I want to see them <laughs> tear each other apart, but all that aside, these two would have a, an absolutely incredible match together. And Brad Gulak, as I said before, no stranger to the Smash Wrestling fans, but let me break down his CZW credentials, because this man was in CZW long before he was in Smash Wrestling. Brad, Drew Gulak is a former CZW Heavyweight Champion, two-time CZW Tag Team Champion, and he is the longest reigning CZW Wired Champion in CZW's history. Wow. An outstanding, get this, 429 days. Oh my goodness, that is a long time to be a champion anywhere, let alone in CZW where some of the best athletes in the world go to wrestle. Oh, oh here we go, this could be it! Gulak. Tarek rather, only a one count though. And Tarek can't believe he didn't beat Gulak there. And Gulak does not look pleased. You hear Tarek say, I almost beat him. Now, Brad. This thing might break down in what could have been a, an easy out Gulak, I think for a fourth bit, gun. Gulak might be a little bit embarrassed by Tarek there. Tarek tried to outsmart Gulak. But, Brad, when it comes to experience, I, I, this is a mismatch. It's true Gulak has been wrestling far longer than Tarek. Absolutely. He has been all around the world. And, and Brad, you mentioned those names that, that encompass fourth gun. Drew Gulak, Biff Busick. Johnny Gargano, Alex Shelley, Chuck Taylor, and Taylor. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say one of those things is not like the other. And I mean, it's it's nothing against Tarek because he is he has learned from all of these people and has kind of become the hybrid of every one of them. But you gotta wonder if, I mean, he was the one who formed Fourth Gun. Do you think he's, he feels like he's being overlooked and this is his chance to prove to the world? that he can hang with some of the best. I don't think it's a matter of Tarek being overlooked, Brad. Right? I, I think, if anything, joining Fourth Gun has elevated Tarek's game to a new level and brought eyes on him that would not have otherwise been there. And I see Drew Gulak. And Drew Gulak using those judo throws. An absolute expert in chain wrestling is Drew Gulak. And Drew Tarek Gulak is, used to train in judo. That's why he's so good on the ground. Tarek is going to have to change his strategy. If he stands a hope in beating Drew Gulak. Tarek's trying to say that he pulled the tights, and Gulak says, okay, ref, whatever you say. And the test of strength here. Gulak is uh, about as catch as catch can can be. He, yeah, it, and it tests a strength, I mean, you want to believe Tarek might have the upper hand in that, but. Tarek, of course, training with the, the legendary Lance Swan. So he's no stranger to, to technical wrestling. Boy, he's no stranger to it. It's just not really his style. I mean, we don't see that, that too much from him here in Smash Wrestling. No, what we see more from Tarek is more of his very violent strikes. He's been known to, to just outstrike his opponents, and that's what's leading them to victory as of late. Nobody in Smash Wrestling punches harder than Tarek. No one in Smash Wrestling kicks harder than Tarek. No one in Smash Wrestling chops harder than Tarek. But right now, he is in there with an absolute mat technician being dissected by Drew Gulak here. And Gulak's got him up on his shoulders in a fireman's carry. Only Drew Gulak knows what he's saying. Here's an airplane uh, spin. Airplane spin. 
And Brad, here's the question, will he rack him? Oh! Change in momentum there. What's he I thinking here? I think Gulak made himself dizzy. Crowd. This electric crowd. Oh, there it is! Ask you shall receive. What? Cover! Two and No, Terry gave a kick out after that fist drop there. And there you see the hand symbol of fourth gun. Scott, I've got to ask. I mean, we know that Tarek is the most hated man in Smash Wrestling. I mean, I guess that's why the crowd is firmly behind Drew Gulak. Well, it's, nobody likes Tarek. Brad, here's the thing. Fourth gun's MO this entire time they've taken over Smash Wrestling has been that they are a group of individuals who believe that they are better than Smash Wrestling. Believe that they are better than independent wrestling. And Brad, to a degree, they've proven it. Biff Busick, gone. Johnny Gargano, leaving. Where does this leave Tarek? That's another good question, Scott. There's so many questions. Cover here from Tarek. Hang on, we got one There's so many questions revolving around Tarek and revolving around all of Fourth Gun. It's going to be interesting to see how this year plays out. Well, you got to believe in it. In a way, right? Tarek might feel like he's been left behind him. He opened the doors for Fourth Gun to come in here to smash wrestling, and now they're kind of closing them behind him and, and, and leaving him on their own. This match might be more to Tarek than we think. You yeah, could be right. This could be his only chance to step in the ring with someone like Drew Gulak. We've run down the credentials of Drew Gulak and CZW. Tarek has been a champion in just about every promotion in Canada. Save Smash Wrestling. Tarek has never been a champion in any major promotion, but a win here over Drew Gulak could put him in the running for a Smash Wrestling title shot. I mean, you would think so. He's showing his willingness to fight his fourth gun brethren. I mean, if he wants the Smash Wrestling Championship, who's going to deny it? Well, and, and that's it, Brad. It's, if he's willing to do this to one of his friends, willing to compete in a competitive match against one of his friends for nothing more than simply bragging rights, you gotta believe he'd be more than happy to wrestle against a Johnny Gargano for the Smash Wrestling Championship. Or could it be Sammy Callahan? Challenging for the title later on tonight, our main event. You're absolutely right, the main event. Sammy Callahan takes on Johnny Gargano. And I mean, what a champion Sammy Callahan would make if he's able to unthrone the fourth gun what leader. A close line from Tarek, but it's not Gulak out into the cover. Only a TK. But it's worth noting here, this, this is a big deal for us here at Smash Wrestling, for you and I on the commentary table. Not only is this this show available through Smash On Demand or On Demand Video Service, it's also available through CCW Studios, CCW's On Demand Service as well. It's also available on DVD as well if you okay, collect those. Here, okay, on, on, I, I mean, it's just about available anywhere at this point. For CZW, Brad, DVDs are going to be, be available on February 1st via CZWShop.com. That's absolutely right. The new and improved way to buy your CZW merchandise, CZWShop.com, launches on February 1st. So a nice body slam. And this, Brad, is vintage Terry. Repeated elbow drops. And you see he's going, going under the punches and bunches MO here. He's not getting a lot of height out those elbow drops, but he's repeatedly hitting Drew Gulak. And Gulak, of course, had a well scared and he'll move out of the way. I mean, you can hit one of those, you can hit 10 of them. They're just repeated shots right to the heart area. They're going to hurt and they're going to wear down your opponent either way. I might say Tara in a way trying to break the heart of Drew Gulak. What a shot. We just talked about Tarek's chops, but what a chop that was from Drew Gula. And the crowd now begging for Gulak to do it again. Uh, uh, oh, and Tarek able to duck out of it. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about, CZW fans. If this is your first look at Tarek, that is what Tarek is all about. That was the most violent chop I've ever seen in my entire life. 
<laughs> look at the look on Gulak's face. I don't think he's ever been hit that hard. So I gave him a that. Huge oh. elbow by Terry. And a kick out. Tarek now has to be wondering what is it going to take. Of course, Brad Tarek known for that backpack stunner finisher. As well as the knee drop right to the back of the head, forcing the face into the canvas, almost a modified curb stomp like maneuver. Gulak is known for damn near everything. The Gulak attack. It's able to stretch your body out and, and, ways and, and bend it in ways that it's not meant to bend. To make it tap out from just about any position. The Gulak attack, the Gulak. Never take your eyes off Drew Gulak. Oh, huge stomp. Stomp right to the chest. Look, look on Gulak's face, Brad. I think he's pissed off here. Tarek wants to continue. Referee checking. And Brad, what has Johnny Gargano got to be thinking here? He talked to these two guys, told them to figure out, I don't care which one of you wins, figure Poke Doom, come to the back, and let's focus on retaining my title later on tonight. You got to think he, that he might be worried because, I mean, Fourth Gun has always been the insurance plan for Johnny Gargano. And if if they're both out of commission, you gotta wonder if Johnny Gargano is gonna be confident. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Hang on here. Oh, what a vertical suplex that was from Drew Gulak. The Brad. Gargano's gotta be pissed. You said that Fourth Gun's always been the insurance plan. No. Fourth Gun has always been the plan. Hang on, this will be it. Fourth gun has always been the plan to retain Johnny Gargano's title. Johnny Gargano retained his title with a clean win once. In an undefeated 2015, he had one clean title defense. It was against Sebastian Suave back in our London calling trip. And even with that, fourth gun got involved back. You're, you're right. I mean, fourth gun is has been everywhere that Johnny Gargano has been. Oh, and a kick right to the face, into the cover. Two and no. Somehow Gulag able to get his wits about him. Gulag might have kicked right in the throat there. And I don't know where he is. Tarek wasting no time. Ooh! And a punch right to the temple. Gulag, he may be out on his feet here, bud. Tarek does have that knockout power. On a headbutt, as you said, nobody wins with a headbutt. Tarek's knocked himself down to a knee. I'd say I have a steam in here. I have to agree with him. You knock each other out with a headbutt if you're not careful. It's a very powerful move, but one wrong placement of a headbutt and you both go down. Then what does Johnny Gargano do later on tonight? Oh, Tarek. Wow! wow! What an enziguri! Into the cover! Yeah, what a beautiful disaster that would have been. Kick out there from Gula. This has been quite the match here, considering we thought we were going to see a finger poke. Dude. I mean, we thought, exactly, we thought we were just going to see a finger poke, and that would be it. This has been one heck of a contest between two people who we thought at the beginning of the night were on the same page about just going out there for a pink finger poke. Right, we, yeah, Tarek runs right in that elbow, Drew Gulak. We've got one hell of a lineup. We might not even get to match number two. These guys might go all night long. You're absolutely right about that. And oh, it's Something, Tarek. That, something to note, up. Scott, is unlike our Canusa Classic, which is an Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tarek's for that backpack stunner. Oh, he nails yeah, it. This could be Dead it. center of the ring. Cover from Tarek. Biggest win of his life, and no. Only two. Scott, as I was saying, unlike the Canusa Classic, which is one of our events uh, for the CZW fans, which is an all-female tournament pitting Canada against the United States, uh, where points are kept, tonight is all about friendly competition. There's no points here. Yeah, it, it's not a, it's not a tournament style. It's just the best CZW has to offer, the best match wrestling has to offer. Put them head to head and made it. Put on a showcase. That's, 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 that's the thing, right? It's not about good guys and bad guys. It's not about rivalry. Hang well, on. We will get into that later on. As Tarek sitting up right, perhaps for his second back pass. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, the hangman sleeper hold. Well, I can only hold that for five seconds. Oh! My what a Larry! Tarek might be done. That might have taken his head off. 
Right as I was saying, it's not about good versus bad. It's not about, it's not about this big feuds or big rivalries. Minus one tonight. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. We have one match in the car that is not smack, not good. That's not wrestling versus season. We need that match, of course, being Courtney Rush getting her hands on Kimberly. And we'll get into that story a little bit later. Hang on, here's your cover. We got a story a little bit later on tonight, but that's fans, a heck that, of a story, folks. That will not be a match for the faint of heart, that is for sure. It's gonna get it's gonna get ugly. I I it just happens to be that. But in the ring right now, two brothers of fourth gun, two Gulak and Tarek putting on a clinic. This here Gulak say it's time to settle this. I can't repeat the rest of it. Oh, oh! Tarek! And Tarek is still fighting. Tarek somehow, after that huge diving clothesline off the top rope. And Brad. Oh, he blocked it. Tarek, one year ago, would not be able to hang with Drew Gulak. That's exactly past, it, Scott. Drew Gulak has taught Tarek a lot, but you better believe that Drew Gulak has not taught Tarek everything that Drew Gulak knows. Oh, of course not. Oh, cover here from Gulak. Two, got him. Drew Gulak from out of nowhere. The experience of Drew Gulak earns him a victory here tonight and score one for CZW. I guess if you're keeping score at home, what a match that was. Smash Wrestling fans, we know Tarek had one hell of a 2015, taking on the likes of Matt Cross and Chris Hero, and he's learned so much, so much from those matches, and no doubt he's, he's learned something tonight. He might not have picked up the win, but he's learned something with this match with Drew Gulak. Hard fought competitive matchup, and we didn't think we were going to see it of these two men tonight. They shook hands at the start while they shake hands afterwards. Oh, how about that? Tarek walking out on Gulak. Dissension in the ranks of Fourth Gun. That's for the first time in over a year. There is a chink in the armor. What does this mean for Johnny Gargano and a title defense later on tonight, Brad? I mean, you saw Gulak extend the hand, Tarek refusing to shake it. And that's a huge moment. And you gotta wonder, is that a sign of things to come? Is, is this the, the beginning of the end of fourth gun? God, I hope so. You, me both. For Smash Wrestling's sake, I hope so. 